We see, in this episode, Pinkie Pie telling stories to Twilight in her crazy tones. Then she sees Rainbow Dash. Here's the real twist. Pinkie chases Rainbow, I thought she might be desperate to hang out with her. But she was trying to make Rainbow cautious about the stony heartless mountain in front of her flying path. Then the way, Pinkie Pie was chasing Rainbow Dash, it felt like she was dying for Rainbow Dash. She blew away the clouds, tear apart the leaves and also got a 5D lenses to get track of her. Then Pinkie Pie finally convinced Rainbow Dash for an unknown fun adventure. Feeling forced, Rainbow said okay to her. They sent Dragon a bunch of paperwork. Out of curiosity, Greedy Dragon tried to open them all and turned them into fire. Which gave him hiccups. Then they reach another pony's house jumpingly with a bunch of smooth glorious eye-catching flowers. After smelling the flowers, the pony sneezed heavily and both of them laughed. Then they exchanged Twilight Sparkle's purple ink into a vanishing ink. Knowing that and seeing them laughing, Twilight Sparkle gave them a I don't care look. Then we see, Rainbow Dash's old friend Gilda, who seemed to be kind of arrogant and disgusted by everything because she thinks herself greater over everything. During their journey Rainbow seemed to like Pinky more. It showed when Rainbow was having a fly thing with Gilda and Pinky reached above the clouds between them. Rainbow saying Pinky you're so random is a compliment showing how much she desires her. But her friend Gilda clearly didn't like Pinkie Pie. So, she made her go away every time she tried to appear. She also destroyed Pinkie Pie's love-shaped balloon, which was the end of the cuteness. Gilda bullying Pinkie Pie calling her Stinky Pie shows how much she's disgusted, grossed out and doesn't want her around. Here in the whole journey, it may look like Pinkie Pie was looking for someone to pull pranks. But the way she convinced Rainbow Dash saying it would be fun for you was more about Rainbow. It seemed she cared more about giving Rainbow Dash a fun experience than pulling pranks. And Gilda on the other hand, was too much into herself calling everything disgusting. She thought herself the winner of the world and expected everyone to treat her like a royalty.